I did not expect to cry at the rom-com In and Out. This is a 1997 film directed by Frank Oz, written by Paul Rudnick, and starring, among others, Kevin Kline, John Cusack, Tom Selleck, and the reason I watched this initially, the fabulous Debbie Reynolds. And honestly, this is... I, I often see a film as a film of two halves, wherein one half's good and one half's bad, but this is a film... Sorry, if you hear my, my voice going, I've, I've just finished watching this and I'm still a little welling up. This is a film of two emotions. The first half is quite funny. It's warm and fuzzy and entertaining and quite relaxing. And then it gets quite serious. It still retains that comedy element. It doesn't become dark and foreboding and gloomy. But it becomes a lot more serious in its meaning. And I will read out the description from IMDb, which should hopefully help explain a little bit why that is. A Midwestern teacher questions his sexuality after a former student makes a comment about him at the Academy Awards. So we have this famous actor called Cameron Drake, played by Matt Dillon, who used to be taught by Mr Brackett, and Howard Brackett is played by Kevin Klein, and I cannot praise his performance in this enough. He displayed every single emotion possible. He was high energy, he was confused, he was emotional, absolutely loved his performance. And Cameron Drake informs everybody at the Academy Awards and everybody watching that Howard Brackett was his gay English teacher. And nobody ever told Howard Brackett that he was gay before. And suddenly he thinks, actually, maybe I might be. And to begin with, I thought, that's a little bit odd. How can somebody just suddenly start questioning their sexuality just because one person thinks they're gay? But then... Once he gets into it, it's really quite moving as he goes on this journey of self-discovery. I also have to point out what, that what's quite interesting about this is that it doesn't trivialise being gay. It's not cliché. We don't have people dancing to the YMCA, which is the kind of thing you would normally find in a comedy of this of this nature with this kind of narrative. We don't have him kissing lots of scantily clad men are going to gay bars it's a much more spiritual internal journey which i thought was really tasteful and very well done as i said i did at a few points think they're not you know maybe there are some people reacting to the news of him being gay as quite shocking but then this was 1997 people still found that very hard to deal with i know some people still do but obviously in the 90s even more so this is also the first time I have watched a film with Tom Selleck without a moustache. I didn't look at the cast list before watching this, and it took me the entire film until the closing credits to realise that that was Tom Selleck playing Peter Malloy, who is a great character. I think he's brilliant. Um, but yeah, Selleck without a moustache is half recognisable. This film, I can't really go into too many details about why I think this, but there are definite Dead Poets Society vibes. The narrative's absolutely not the same. The Dead Post Society is a very emotional, emotive, powerful drama. This is a very powerful comedy. But it's kind of, if you like Dead Post Society, you'll like this, put it that way. There is a very funny dance scene in this. And the closing credits are done over a wonderful scene that's very uplifting. Which is something I really needed after kind of welling up quite a lot at the end of the film it's a beautiful film it's so much more than i expected it to be it's a lot less gimmicky than i feared it would be debbie reynolds is in it a lot more than i worried because often she's not in it as much as i'd like but with this film it it exceeded every single expectation i ever could have had it's a beautiful film it's powerful and Apparently, according to the trivia on IMDb, the Oscar statuette used in the film is actually Kevin Klein's. So that's um, <laughs> well, a bit of a risk to let him uh, to let people handle that. But honestly, In and Out is a stunning film. It handles the subject matter beautifully while still making it entertaining. It's well directed. The dialogue's gorgeous, moving. We get some beautiful poetry quotes. Very well cast. Very well performed. Very well delivered. In and Out is. So much more than you would expect it to be.